Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video I will show you how to convert time between time zones. If you are looking for a quick solution, simply copy and paste this formula. You will find it in the description below. If you want to understand how and why this formula works, continue watching this video to the end. I will start by how Excel processes time. Excel stores date as sequential numbers beginning with January 1st, 1900. This date is stored as number 1. January 2nd is stored as number 2 and so on. So when you include dates and formulas, Excel processes a number but displays it in the date format you chose. The same applies for time. Time is treated as a portion of the day and stored as a decimal fraction. Midnight or 0.0, .0 this is a starting point of the day. So when a whole number is entered, Excel sees it as a day starting at midnight. 1.1 .1 is understood as a whole day plus 0.1 of a whole day. So 0.1 multiplied by 24 hours is 2 hours 24 minutes. The same applies for other decimal. 1.5 for example is midday, in other words 0.5 multiplied by 24 hours. 2.999 is a second of January 1900 for the date and 0.999 multiplied by 24 hours which is the date calculated. So to summarize, Excel processes time as decimal fraction of a number. So now I'll adjust the time in London to the new time zone by adding 9 hours. 6 a.m. equals 6 hours equals 6 divided by 24 which is 0 0.25. I will add 9 hours, in other words I will divide 9 hours by 24 hours which is 0 0.375. I will add the 0 0.375 to the 0 0.25. I will format the result as time and voila. There will be cases where the sum of both times is above 1. For example, if you add 12 hours, which is 0 0.5, to 6 p.m., which is 0 0.75, we will get 1.25, which is above 1. Again, time is processed as a decimal number. The result we want in Excel is only the 0 0.25. Now to make sure that we always receive a decimal value, I will use the mod function. The function returns the remainder or rest after division, meaning the rest of 1.25 divided by 1, which is equal 0 0.25. C14 is the time at the start location. F14 is divided by 24 in order to transform the adjustment time into a decimal number. So now the function transforms the adjustment into a decimal number added to the start number and in case it is bigger than 1, it returns only the decimal above 1. So to summarize, use the mod function to convert time between time zones. If you have more interest in the mod function, pause the video and read this description. I hope you found what you were looking for in this tutorial. If yes, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more videos. Check out other Excel video tutorials by Swag Academy in this playlist. Thanks for watching.